Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new and really exciting Star Wars World of Public video where today we're talking about Dark vs. Light Server Wars. Now this is going to be related to Galactic Command, but it's just a really interesting aspect of Galactic Command. I talked about what you know Galactic Command was in previous videos, basically, basically what it is is you get rewarded for doing in-game activities, you get these command experience points, you rank up, you gain command crates, you get really good gear. That's what it is in a few words. But the Dark vs. Light Server Wars is kind of another reason you could say to do all this stuff, another reason to do flashpoints heroics uprisings op and operations and war zones and stuff and um, and the reason you're going to be wanting to do it is because you will get another cool new cosmetic rewards and stuff like that and so that's kind of their incentive so kind of getting into how it works the first thing you need to do is when you're going to log into your character you're going to have to choose are you fighting for the light, light or the dark side there's basically going to be a toggle in your character sheet and you kind of decide after you have decided on that one character, so you can be light side on uh, some characters, dark side on other characters, then you go ahead and you uh, do activities, and every single thing you do, all the way from just killing enemies to completing missions, story, um, making choices and stuff in those stories, will count towards either giving points to the light or the dark side. It's important to note that you could change your allegiance. So for example, if you decided for one little bit of a server war you're going to be light side, then you can go ahead and change in that character to the dark side at any time. You're not bound to anything. So it's not some like major decision you're making, like for example, choosing an advanced class, which you can't change. But you can change your alignment in this case. You will be able to see your character's alignment in your character sheet, and then when you open up the Galactic Command user interface, you'll be able to see at the bottom which side is winning your server war. Now explaining this gets a little tricky so bear with me but as you guys can see here there is a bar. Now this bar is going to be in the galactic command interface and you can basically see which side is winning. Now the way this bar works is on one side you have the dark side on one side you have the light side. And there are like five little ticks. Uh, now what it is is after every 30 minutes all the dark side and light side points are tallied up. Now that number can change, it could be 45 minutes, it could be an hour, they're still kind of deciding, but it's going to be around that time. Now the way that they've marketed this to us and the way they want it to be is very short, very intense uh, wars. So it's not meant to be over the span of a day or even a week or something like that, kind of like Conquest or, or the current Dark vs. Light event. They want it to be very short. They want you to have multiple Dark vs. Light wars in one day. So if, for example, if you only play the game for one or two hours, you can still experience these wars, uh, you know, when compared to other players who play for many, many hours. Um, the other way it kind of works is, after every 30 minutes, that black bar will, that, uh, after every 30 minutes, this, um, kind of losing my words here because this is a little hard to explain, but basically, the bar will move. So not that black bar, but as you guys can see right now in this image, light side is winning and it's at kind of tick three. And then there's two more ticks to go. So it could go to four and it can go to five. And once it reaches five, the war has basically been won. So after every 30 minutes to an hour, they're gonna tally up the light and the dark points and then they're gonna see, okay, who's won in that little 30 minute period. Whoever's won, that bar will move one more to the side that won. And so basically, you know, if light side reaches rank four, well, dark side can still kind of win the war if they just keep kind of trying to pull it, pull the thing to their side. So hopefully that kind of made sense. As I mentioned, I don't know, it's hard, kind of hard to explain it. I'll um, leave a link to the actual article I'm kind of uh, reading off of, and then that way you can uh, go ahead and read it for yourself. Hopefully it'll make more sense there. But here we come to the really exciting part, the actual outcome of the battles and what kind of rewards you're going to get for doing these, for doing these things. Um, so basically, in order for you to win, obviously you have to be aligned to the side that won that server war. So for example, for the purpose of this video, I'll say dark side won. So let's say I chose my alignment to be dark side, and dark side ultimately won the server war. Then I enter what is called a victory state. Now this victory state won't last very long, it's not going to last a day or anything. As I mentioned, these are meant to be very short wars, so it's only going to last something like maybe an hour. And in that victory state, I have access to getting numerous rewards. So for example, if I rank up my command rank, in a victory state, then I will also get a dark side token and a command crate. So, you know, currently, if you just rank up, you get a command crate, right? But now, if I'm in a victory state, I won the dark versus light server war, in that one hour or whatever period it is, I will also get a dark side token. Now, that dark side token can be used at a cosmetic vendor in order for me to buy really cool new exclusive stuff. So basically, that's uh, one incentive. There's these cosmetic rewards. However, there are other ways to get dark side tokens. For example, if dark side won, then we're going to start seeing dark side bosses spawn up in different areas. So for example, the example they used here was the Sith Lord might spawn at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant and get ready to strike him down. And so light side players can go run to Coruscant, find the boss, kill him, 
and then they'll, these light side players will get light side tokens. So this works the other way around. If light side won the server war, then light side bosses are going to spawn in, in various planets, and dark side players can go ahead and try to kill those bosses in order to get tokens and prepare themselves for when they enter a victory state, then they can go and use those tokens on those cosmetic vendors and buy cool stuff. Um, now these bosses they mentioned are not going to be easy. Uh, they're going to need maybe 16, maybe even 30 players to do so. So they're really encouraging guilds to get together and try to defeat these things. So there's an aspect to the Galactic Command, which is you'll gain bonus command points. So for example, uh, if you were, were a light side player and you went ahead and killed a dark side boss and hunted down that boss, then you can go ahead and get more bonus command points. And also if you're in a victory state, you kind of get bonus command points as well. But another really important cool mechanic they included was, let's say dark side players don't want light side players to kind of get those rewards. Well, then dark side players can actually go and hunt down these bosses as well. So if something spawns in a, in a world where both players can be on, like Tatooine or something, then dark side players can go and kill these bosses to rob the light side players of doing so. And so there's different ways this can kind of be used in order for uh, one side to make sure they keep winning. So that's really cool. As I mentioned in a previous video where I was kind of doing a light a summary of this stuff, um, they did make it so that one side will ultimately you know, win over the other. So if dark side keeps winning, well light side will keep getting bonuses to their light side points that they earn, and so eventually light side will win, even if light side only had like a few players. They would eventually beat the dark side because they'd keep getting this bonus to the points that they earn after every time they lose a server battle. So to recap, if your alignment matches you know, the side that ended up winning the server war, you'll basically get three main rewards. You'll get bonus command experience points earned in that victory state, you will get dark side tokens whenever you earn a command rank, and then you will be able to spend those tokens at a special cosmetic reward vendor that only you have access to because you won the server war. Now, if your character alignment matches the losing side, you still get something as well. You get a bonus to all your light side points earned. That will help you win the next server war, and that will stack. So if you keep losing a server war, even with the bonus, you'll keep getting more of a bonus until eventually you win. And secondly, you can take down these dark side enemies that will be spawning around the galaxy to earn light side tokens to prepare yourself for when you ultimately win the server war. So you can go ahead and have a ton of tokens to spend. Um, and also, as I mentioned, dark side players can also go and kill these bosses in order to rob the light side players of basically getting their tokens. Now this information, and finally I'll end with this, this information isn't actually up here, but I do think this is going to be the case because I read it somewhere else beforehand, which is that how much of a dark side or light side alignment you had, that is going to affect ultimately your rewards that you gain. So if you were dark 1 or dark 2, for example, and it goes up to 5, and dark side 1, you're going to get a bunch of rewards because you were ultimately with the winning side. But if you were dark 5, like you really grinded and you got a ton of dark side points, well, you're probably going to get more rewards than that person that just got dark 2. Now, I, as I mentioned, I did read this somewhere, but that information wasn't actually given to us in the live stream, so I don't want to go ahead and, you know, say that, and then you guys, you know, get excited and you work really hard, and uh, ultimately everyone got the same rewards. So hopefully um, they do incorporate that because it would make more sense. Someone put in more work, they should get more of a reward. But I think that's going to, information is going to come up maybe later or, or we'll We'll just figure out what happens in game but that is the end of the video once again really really exciting i absolutely love the fact that they're incorporating you know these these server changes so different servers will be different <laughs> That didn't make any sense. Uh, different servers will have different uh, changes to them. Like some servers, dark side will be winning, so you'll have dark side bosses everywhere. Another server, light side will be winning, and uh, the different ways that galaxies being impacted by our choices. That's very cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.